What's up everybody, Steven here with Neural DSP. And today I have another FAQ episode for you. Question one comes from Klaus Weber. He asks, what's that normal high oversampling thing? Oversampling is how neural DSP plugins deal with aliasing. I'm not gonna get too deep into the Shannon Nyquist sampling theorem, so for now, I'm gonna keep things simple and brief. When distortion is added to a signal, harmonics are created higher up in the frequency spectrum. If the sample rate isn't high enough to properly represent them, they'll be folded back into lower frequencies. Neural DSP plugins internally process the audio at higher sample rates so that way we can properly represent these higher frequencies. At the normal position, the neural DSP plugin is processing at two times the sample rate of your session. And in the high position, the plugin is processing at four times the session sample rate. Then we low pass the signal and now those frequencies are then gone. And then we can go back to the original sample rate without the presence of aliasing. Question two comes from Matthew Longerbeam. Any way to run different plugins in standalone at the same time? Like, could I run the Nameless and the Abbasi and disable everything but the EQ and the Abbasi to shape the tone of the Nameless? So I messed around with this, but I really didn't find any viable solutions that worked for me. There are programs like Dante Via for PC or Soundflower for Mac, which allow for internal routing from program to program, but I really wasn't able to overcome the latency issues that stemmed from doing this. I was able to physically route my signal from my Nameless to my Nolly, but the problems start arising when you have multiple audio programs vying for control of your audio interface. For me, this ended up with a lot of clicking and popping that I really couldn't get rid of. Now, I had the idea of using two interfaces to try and overcome this, but I ended up abandoning the idea because at that point, you may as well just open up your DAW to run your signal chain. Otherwise, you run the risk of your setup becoming way more complicated than it needs to be. Question three. Carl asks, explain 20% of error for every potentiometer, which was mentioned in Francisco's AB comparison video. So if you haven't checked it out, Francisco, co-owner of Neural DSP, did this fantastic comparison video between Neural DSP's Nameless and the physical model of Fortin's Nameless Amp. He mentions in the video that each potentiometer is within 20% margin of error to the physical models. What this means is that even when you compare two of the same physical model, the potentiometers on both are going to be slightly different. Each potentiometer when manufactured is gonna have very slight variances or imperfections, which are gonna make it interact with the signal differently. So say you have the physical model at home and decide to compare it to the digital one. You put all of the knobs and all of the pots in exactly the same position, but it just doesn't sound quite the same. It's because some of those potentiometers that were used in creating the digital version of the nameless are gonna be different than the potentiometers on the physical amps. That's what it means when you have a 20% margin of error. 10% up or 10% down to match what the digital version is recreating. Question four, what is the standard gate based off of? A particular hardware unit or one of Neural's own algorithms? The gate is based off of one of Neural's own algorithms, which they are currently working on to improve and update. Question five, what amp is X based off of? I really can't say. I know it's disappointing to some people, but we can't officially in any capacity say what we're basing our models off of. If we did, we'd risk copyright or trademark infringement. However, if you follow the threads and do some research on YouTube, some people have really good ears and they've been really close to guessing or maybe even have guessed exactly what the models were based off of. So the best that I can really say is best of luck to all of you who are willing to do the research and try and figure this out on your own. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload our videos. Comment down below. Let me know what questions you have that I can address in further FAQ videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.